Hi there, this is Martin from Transoft Solutions UK. So in this video, I'm going to be demoing Sign and Line Pro Arabic's latest 2D to 3D BIM workflow on a typical highways corridor scheme that you would see in and around the Middle East. The road I'm developing is two and a half miles long and has several intersections between the crossroads, T-junctions, and they've all been modeled in Civil 3D. To start, I'm going to show some 2D signs and lines, and then I'll take those designs and turn them into 3D. And final from that, I will take the design files into Navisworks and we can have a look at the asset data that's attached to the objects. So first I'm going to show the sign faces that I designed in Sign Pro Arabic. We have three gantries. And we have a speed roundel and no stopping plus supplementary plate on the same post. We have a street name sign and a junction type ADS. So my job now is to turn all these signs into 3D. So what I usually do is I usually set up some views so I can actually show the sign being turned into 3D. So I'm going to switch to the BIM toolbar. Now all I have to do is press convert 2D to 3D, select the edge of the sign face and the sign will come in in 3D. And we'll just spin that around just so we can see it's full 3D. Moving on to the next one, same process, convert 2D to 3D. And for the last gantry, convert 2D to 3D. We'll have another spin out of the sign. Okay, moving on to the next one, we have our ADS type sign, typically at junctions. Okay. And the next sign is a street name sign. And the last sign is three signs on one post. Okay, so now we're in Line Design Pro Arabic, we're going to add some road markings to this main junction and in our intersection. I'm going to start by adding the crossing, our zebra crossing. Um, it's very simple, just click points. We can also add the curbs. Click OK, and if we add the curbs, what we can do is we can actually just drag that around and it will sort of stick to the curbs themselves. Again, if we change the width, it takes the curbs into account. Oh, we can just reset back to 2.7 by typing and then drag that back to where we need it. Next I'm going to add some road hatch and I'm going to use the selection method as in selecting polylines. Okay, now what we want to do next is we want to remove this area here, this yellow area. So we double click the marking add knockout zone, select it and press OK and the marking itself is actually removed. So next I'm going to add some 3D markings. I'll just change the view and unhide the surfaces. So it's quite simple, I just simply press drape 3D, choose our surface you want the markings to go on or to drape onto, press OK. Okay, so the 3D markings have just come in and that took 45 seconds. So if I just change the rendering style, we can see that all the, all the markings have come in in 3D, including the Arabic text and the crossings and the road hatch that we put in as well. Okay, we're now in Autodesk Navis Works and we're going to look at some of the 3D objects that we brought in, including the signs and lines. So we can see the junction that we're, we're looking at at the moment is a major junction. 
and if we zoom in we can see that all the hatching has come in, the crossings and the Arabic text has all been 3D draped over the surface. We've also got a T-junction, the same. And then if we scroll through the gantries we can see that the gantry signs have come in. They were made in sign design pro Arabic. We have an ADS sign and a speed roundel, no stopping plus supplementary plate. And finally we've got a street name sign as well. So now what we can do is we just jump back to the major junction. Um, if we look at the road markings, we can actually interrogate the asset data. If we choose the core object, you can see that a new properties window comes up and all the asset data attached to the object comes up in this window here. So that's great for your BIM collaboration scheme.